Well, it's the first Wednesday of October. It's about 10 o'clock at night. I'm just waiting on Chris to get here. You can see I got the front of the boat stacked up with what I think I'm gonna need for a three day fishing trip, you know, minus what's already in the boat. Got the fishing rods, a few things over there, but uh, this is our annual fall trip. Uh, we'll get into more later as to why we're leaving at 10 o'clock at night. Uh, maybe when we're this time tomorrow, when we're a little bit delirious from lack of sleep, from driving and fishing, but uh, here we go. Got our time check here. It's 2.59 a.m. We just crossed the border. We got a long, dark road ahead of us. Well, here we are, 6.22 in the morning. We drove through the night. We're here and we're unloading the boat. We're going fishing. <laughs> we made it. You might ask yourself, why do we drive through the night? Well, it's because we both got families and little kids at home and we want to maximize our time. So drove through the night, sacrificed a little sleep, and now it is 8.30 in the morning and we have got the whole day to fish and a couple more after it and then we'll head home and just maximizing that time and effort to be on the water. Maximize. Ah, ah. Oh. <laughs> First fish. That? Money fish. That is worth that it. Is that is a monster. A dollar. Let me give you a full camera. Yeah, we like to keep things interesting here. So that first walleye is worth a dollar. Biggest walleye each day is has to buy the other guy dinner. So if I catch the biggest walleye today, Chris is going to buy me dinner and vice versa. Uh, biggest northern worth five dollars for the uh, three day fishing trip. Ten. Oh, I'm sorry. Ten. Yeah. We up the odds this year. It's 2024. Sorry. Uh, biggest walleye is worth 20 right so the biggest of the three days is worth 20 and dinner so that's a good fish to have and if you set the hook and lose a hook and then somebody catches that fish later with your hook still in its mouth in its mouth that's a five dollar bonus so i mean it's it's pulling hard <laughs> it's pulling hard <laughs> okay oh. let's see oh it got bigger it, did, might be the it, biggest. Just, it just got bigger you want me to net it no not yet Oh, I'll get the net if I need to. Well, remember, our... this is for sure the. Oh, right, you got it. There you go. That's yeah, not a bad fish. That is a money fish. That's got to be at least 28. <laughs> the way things are going today, that could be the biggest fish of the day. This is by far the biggest fish today. Oh. Just getting. The... Just getting destroyed by the wind. I I think we're gonna be limited today by how long our trolley motor can run. There we go, it's gonna be about an 18 or 19 incher. It might be hard to tell, but probably not. Mother Nature is not being kind to us today. Uh, we are catching a few fish, nothing big yet, but we are getting rocked right now. Uh, so we're not gonna be doing a lot of filming on day one here, but all right. Mother Nature's still pounding us. We've resorted to just sitting back in the chairs, tossing out slip bobbers. But I just got this one right here. Currently, the big fish of the day is 19. That's going to be bigger. Chris is going to be buying me dinner. No. Here, hold this. Oh, 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 hold on. What? You got no, one no, down no, now? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, wow, well, what the heck? I'm going to unhook this. Well, Chris reels his in. Yeah. Uh -oh. oh, that's big. It is not. Oh, that's big. Shoulder. It is digging, isn't it? It is bigger. Oh, no. All right, well, hang on. Let me, let me get the net. Oh, yeah. Oh, might be the same fish, Kraut. That's bigger than the one you just caught. I'm not even a bottom. <laughs> I'm just gonna go yes. like I'm just gonna go yes. like this. Oh what shot Yes, just out of curiosity. You didn't have it anyway. No, I didn't. It oh yeah, no, that one's that one's 20. Is it? Yeah, but it ain't bigger than yours. 
no. You want me to do the honors for you? Sure, check it out. Uh, I might as well. I'm going to buy you dinner for this fish anyways. Oh, yeah. Had them good and hooked. There you go. All right. All right. Let's see. Let's take a look. Here, hold on. Okay. There we go. This is for dinner. This is for dinner. Day one dinner. That's going to go... I'll give you 21 and a half. 21 and a half? Yeah, I'm not going to make so it to 22. Is that the blue green one? Yeah, Let's that's kind of here. Hold it. Here, it's your fish. You take them. I got them. Oh, yeah. It's got that cool blue in it. Oh, yeah. Best fish of the day. Best fish of the trip. I don't know about that. That's, it's a money fish. It's a money fish. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to... It's, it's gonna, gonna be close. It's, gonna be, it's gonna be close. Currently, it's 21 and a half is the big fish of the day. Uh, we haven't been recording much today because we're tired. We drove through the night. The wind was just beating us down. This is our 38th walleye of the day. Chris just missed a nice one. And then my bobber went down, and we'll see. I gotta beat 21 and a half. He stole this fish for dinner. Here. Yeah, Chris thinks this is his. It might have been his, but you know what? around the bump. That one is going to go 23. No! 23. Okay, go. Anyways, first day is coming to a close. We got ourselves a 23 incher here. We're tired. We're delirious. We're going to go get some Timmy Hawtons and get some sleep and come in back and do it all tomorrow. Yeah, could I get uh, five of the roast beef and crispy onion craveables. Five? Yes. And okay. a, a habanero chicken wrap. Okay. And then uh, two of the sea salt potato wedges. Okay. And then a... Um, a, a turkey bacon club sandwich. Oh, good okay. choice. And that's, that's it. You cost me five forty nine times four, so we're talking about twenty two dollars plus nine, thirty one Canadian dollars for your order. Well, a little recap from day one. Uh, Chris caught the first fish, so that got him a dollar. Um, I had the biggest walleye at twenty three inches, which got me dinner. And it's currently the leader for the biggest one of the week, which not a big fish if that holds up. Uh, means we had a tough uh, three-day trip here. And uh, I got a, the largest northern right now at 28 and a half. So the wind has laid down a little today. It looks gorgeous out here. So uh, it's about 7.30. We're getting rolling on the morning of day two. Try to do a little more recording today, maybe catch a little more actually uh, fish catching other than after we got them in the boat. But like I said yesterday, the wind just pounded the hell out of us. Uh, Mother Nature was not friendly. We had no sleep because we drove through the night, but we knew that coming into it. So today we're a little more refreshed. We got coffee on board, got a full uh, nine, 10 hours of sleep last night, and we are ready for some fishing. So here we go. Get in the boat. Yes. <laughs> what do you got there, Chris? First fish, money fish. That's two days in a row. Chris has got the first fish of the day. That is a, it may only be a third, 14 inch walleye, but it's a money fish. It's a what dollar. Take a dollar, bucks a buck, man. I was, I was complimenting you on your catch. You know, he gives me a hard time saying it's only a dollar when I'm the guy that would go a hundred dollars a first fish, but he's the cheap one that goes, well, let's just do a dollar. Like our dads used to do when we were about 10 years old. Still hasn't increased it with inflation or anything. Yeah, well, there's one thing inflation hasn't touched and that's me being cheap. <laughs> All right, it's gonna be a good day. Uh, you that or he's got it. It's oh, I got him. You know what? It's gotta be a big fish. May not be huge, but. Yeah, you know what? Is it getting bigger? Hey, that, no, I think my slip's caught in my reel, making it feel bigger. Actually, you know what? Oh, no. It ain't big. But it ain't bad for the second fish of the day. It's bigger than I thought after watching your bobber. Right? I must, I must just have it set perfect right at the 
right in the strike zone. He's like, I just want to swim away with this little. Good one. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a real good one, there, buddy. That's a real good one yeah. there. That, that was might, with a jig. That might get you dinner. That was with a jig. Hey, let's uh, don't go throwing that one back too quick. I got my my bobber went down over here while you were goofing around. I got one too. Mine's gonna be all of 15 inches. So while Chris is back over there dealing with that, I'm gonna quick. I'm just. Gonna Unhook this. Look at that. Oh, that's a better fish. That, there you go. That is how we like to start our day today. That's a banger there. Yeah. All right, put him on a board. Let's bump him up. Bump him up. You think Chris is a little better about having to buy Tim Hortons last night, so we'll see. Oh, this feels good. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, nobody's oh, buying, that. Nobody buying that. Mouth has to be closed. Mouth closed. Oh, this would have done it. Yes. Wait, wait. I'll give. I'll 20, give. Ah, uh, 23. It's oh, not so, over the corner. So we only go by half, so I still get. Oh, oh no, no. no. Oh, yeah, I got it. I got a half. I'll give you 23 and a half. Yes, 23 and a half. And that's the biggest fish of the trip. Thus far. Thus far. Yeah, that's could a beautiful. Be could be worth dinner and 20 bucks. That is a good way to start the morning. There you go. Net? No net? No, I don't need the net. But it's a walleye. I got, that's my third one, it's five. I don't know. Better? There's another big one down there. Let's chasing this one. Is that for real? Yeah. Ah, yep. uh, I mean, it ain't gonna be 23 and a half, but it ain't a bad one. Thank you, sir. Decent walleye for the morning. Six. Just like to play with them, you know? Yeah. It is fun to fish. Ah! Pull them up into the sunlight here. There we go. You're probably wondering what we're fishing. We got the Mega Live going. We're not using it a ton. But you can see there's just balls of bait like this all over in this area we're in. Let's see if I can scan around. There's another one of them right there. Fish following them. And so we're just, this area got pounded by the wind yesterday. And you can see a fish there, a fish there. And they are moving fast. Like normally we would try to be casting at those fish. You know, there's another one. But instead today we're just kind of, things are moving through you know, these fish are moving around so fast, we're actually having better luck with slip bobbers. You can see another ball of bait kind of out away from the boat here. So a couple of fish suspended. So that's, we're just kind of in this area where the bait got pushed yesterday and just having a lot of luck. What do I got here? It's something. Now it's trying to stay down. I don't, God, I don't know. Felt very pikey. Oh no, it's a smallie. It is. Nah. <laughs> That's a real nice smallie. Look at that. Nice smallie. All right. I would dare I say 17 if I had to guess. Oh no, that ain't a bad fish. That might go in a slot. Oh, yeah. All right, well, don't throw that one back too quick, huh? Let's get a measure on that. We'll see what I got going over here. This is gonna be bigger than mine. What 
what he got. There you go. There's a good fish. Nice. Yeah, look at that little guy here. Clearly we're having a little bit better day today than we did yesterday. It's absolutely gorgeous out. Fish are biting. Something you should understand about this trip that we take every fall. Uh, we are up here just trying to hook, set the hook on as many fish as we can. We could go out and we are fishing apps. You know, we got 50,000 acres of water to our, uh, basically to ourselves. I can't see another boat and I can see about 10,000 acres of lake right now. But, and there's some big fish out there. But we're not chasing those big fish on this trip. Uh, there's days, there's a time and a place where that's fun. We're just going out and trying to catch, you know, those 27 plus inch fish. This ain't that trip. We're up here just trying to set the hook on as many fish as we can get in the boat, uh, reel in. I want to spend more time reeling fish in than I am actually fishing for them. And this is a lake you could do it. So that's the goal of this trip. We're not looking for giants. We're going to stumble into some nice fish, those 23, 24 inchers. Uh, maybe something bigger, but we are just trying to put as many walleyes in the boat on a day-to-day -day basis as we can. Yeah, this feels like a good one, Chris. Oh, we might be having fish for dinner, so you don't have to buy me dinner two days in a row. Either that or I got a giant pike. Weren't you just saying how we only catch little fish? All right, well, I said we're gonna back into a few nice ones. Ooh, this is gonna be close to 20. It ain't gonna go, I don't think I'm gonna beat 23. It's just an angry one. Oh. Just a healthy one. It's a healthy one. It's a good fish. It fought nice, but it's not gonna go 23, so. Bum, bum, bum. Anyway, on to the next one. They can't all be giants. 30, 33 is not a giant. But it's a fish. Remember, we're here for hook sets. That's a hook set. Here you go. A little better one. Thirty pow. I don't know if this is video worthy. Why not? Oh, look at that cute little fish. Is he a cute guy? Didn't record the middle of the day, but that's number 47. Oh, okay. Yep. Uh, I mean, I'm going to need a net. Ah, uh, no, I'll hoist. I can hoist him. But it's a. Yeah, it's me in a slot. Yeah. Yeah, there's a dandy there. Shit. <laughs> This might be our new spot, buddy. First cast. Okay, 19 and a half. <laughs> oh, that's a decent one. I, mean, I think this will be bigger than 28 and a half. And a half. You're going to start trying to tell me it's going to be worth $20 when it's really only worth 10 Oh, yeah. That's... Oh, did you get that on tape? Do they still call it getting it on tape? I don't know. Since they don't use tape anymore? Is that, tape? is that the point you're trying to make? Yeah. I'm wearing them out a little bit. Is this what we're going to do now? You want me to get them in the boat? It's not that big. It's huge. You know, if you don't get them in a boat to measure, I'm not getting them. Well, well, then give me the net. I'm not putting that in the net. <laughs> we'll oh, no. See, look what you did now. I'm not putting that in the net. Now i got to reel them up again. Climbing up the net with that crap. If it's over 35, we'll put it in the net, and that ain't. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You're going to lose them. There you go. Hey. What are you guessing? 32. That. Oh, not even. Hold on. Okay. 29 and a half? I'll give you 29 and a half. That's a new money fish cashing in it on day two. Chris has got a smug look on his face behind the camera because he's ending the day with the largest fish at 23 and one half inches. A 30 inch norther? 29 and a half. 
Oh, 29 and a half inch northern. I'll take 30 if you want uh, to I'm not dinner. giving him 30. Uh, so currently, I'm going to go buy him dinner at Tim Hortons. Uh, and if we don't get something bigger tomorrow, and the weather is supposed to be wicked, we had an absolutely gorgeous day. We had, I don't know, 80, 85 walleyes today. Nothing huge, but like I said, we're here just to set the hook, and we uh, we hit that goal today. A lot of hook sets, uh, a lot of fish, so hopefully tomorrow pans out as well. Here we go. Well, welcome to the morning of day three. Beautiful sunrise coming up behind us. And uh, 15 mile an hour sustained winds. Chris already got the third first fish out of the way for us, but uh, didn't get it on video because it's clinging to the bottom of the boat. So if you believe everything you read on the internet, it's gonna get windier today. So we got that to look forward to, <laughs> which is nice. So uh, yeah, we're gonna hang in there. We're gonna try to catch a few fish. If we get a few big ones, uh, I'm gonna try to get a camera on them, but who knows? I'm gonna try not to get blown off the lake. Not sure what it is, but we saw it on the Mega Live come up and hit. It's gonna be a good one, whatever it is. Yeah, this is gonna be the pike. This is gonna give me my $10 back. I'm actually probably gonna put this one. Uh, you want the net? I don't know. They always make such a damn mess when you put them in a net. Here, if you want it, it's your hand for you. Want me to yeah, it's because it? it's worth $10. Oh, not in the boat yet. All right, it ain't. There we go. There's a decent, decent pike. Yep, half of my winnings back from Chris. He still got the biggest walleye of the day, but that pike's gonna push us over the edge in the windy, wonderful Canada. That's an Ontario 10. Get out of here, don't come back here. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> well, it's uh, it's fun. It's about uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. Caught a few fish today. It's a little warmer today, which is nice, but uh, she's breezy. So uh, we haven't been filming much just based on the wind. Chris caught a 24 inch walleye earlier. Probably gonna have to buy him dinner again, that bum. Uh, nothing like 25 mile an hour winds, rain. But hey, we're here, I guess. We've split up the Tim Hortons for this evening. Chris got me again for dinner, but got the cribbage board here. See if I can't win a few bucks back. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully next time we have a little better fishing.